All right, everybody. Hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings and episode four of this mini series that I'm going to try and maintain here on this channel called Words of Wisdom. In this mini series, I read various stanzas from the Hovmal, randomly selected for discussion and further insight, and I offer my own interpretation or uh, expansion on the texts that have been written down for us to uh, learn from and observe. So, thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time watching my channel, my name is Jesse and I host videos here uh, on this series three times a week, but in other forms I usually do a one a week format of various other heathen related subjects. So if this is the type of content that interests you and you like things pertaining to Norse heathenry or Germanic paganism in general, please subscribe to the channel right down here below. And then if you don't want to miss anything, be sure to click the bell notifications and you'll be notified when I do upload new content. All right, so today's video, uh, today's random stanza selection, um, I'm bringing this to all of you uh, with somewhat of a heavy heart. Um, today is Monday, August 3rd, and um, today has got to be, at least in my recollection, the worst Monday of Mondays. Now, I know that term gets used pretty loosely, especially in modern times. Oh, got a case of the Mondays. Oh, it's Monday, or right, it's gonna be a rough day. Um, but today I use this term, it's been a rough day in the most sincere form possible, um, because today for the very first time in my life, in the role of a sort of leader or supervisor or um, somebody in, in, a, in a position of leadership, right? Uh, for the very first time in my career, um, in any stretch, uh, I mean, in any career path that I follow, which I follow various ones and I've served in a role of leadership in various jobs that I've done, but today for the very first time in any career path that I've uh, followed or, or held, um, I had to learn about the loss of an employee who worked for me um, over the weekend and um, that employee has passed. Um, so today for the very first time in my life I had to work and function and do things um, in that capacity and it's been a very tough day. The video for today, even though it is a random stanza selection, I have no intention for this stanza to be a stanza of discussion today, it seems to be fitting. Um, it seems to be fitting because while I did not personally have a very close friendship to this employee who has passed, um, I did tie weird with this employee in some form and fashion because I was this employee's trainer and guide to serve in the capacity of their job that they served. Um, and I'm sure he had, uh, this employee was friends to um, multiple people throughout their lives. So today's stanza is stanza 44 from the Hovmol. And as I have been doing in the past, from this past week, reading from uh, Dr. Jackson Crawford's translation of the Hovmol as done through his version called the Wanderer's Hovmol. So stanza 44 says, if you have a good friend and really trust him and want good to come of your friendship, you should speak your mind with him, exchange gifts, visit him often. Now I think this stanza particularly today, uh, especially for me, but particularly in modern times, has a very strong importance and it resonates uh, because this term friend and this uh, you know, relationship called friendship that so many of us, I think, in modern times take for granted because of this false sense of familiarity when we have so many various social media platforms. We have YouTube here. Um, so many people who support this channel become subscribers and followers. We have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have Instagram. We have all these different social media platforms where you can get this false sense of friendship, this false sense of you know, people who adore you, people who like you, people who are close to you. Um, and it's a false sense of that because true friends, true friends who trust one another will not allow the road between them two to grow up and become overgrown. There's another stanza that, that references um, basically that. It's a, it's a paraphrase, but it's a, there's a stanza that basically mirrors what I'm just saying is that the, you know, the road between two friends will not you know, don't let the, the, the road between two friends grow up or the, or the, the road traveled. I'm going to try and find it up here. And it may be a, a video, obviously, 
as these random stanzas get uh, discussed. I'm going to just put it up here in text form um, or over here somewhere. It's probably going to be right over here because of, over here it isn't. It's going to be right here. You'll see it. It's right here. Um, this is the stanza that I'm referring to um, with what I'm saying. But I think that, you know, for, for, for the gentleman who lost his life over this weekend, who was an employee of mine, who I didn't necessarily have friendship with, he was friends with someone um, and multiple people, I'm sure. He had friends and he had family. And um, the reason for this loss and, and, and what caused this loss of life, um, we don't know. Um, I don't know, at least. Um, but I hope, and I am genuinely concerned for the family to get, you know, and family and friends to get closure, to know that, um, and, and, to, and to at least get that sense of understanding that hopefully the road between this person and his friends um, did not become overgrown, that there was gifts exchanged, that there was minds openly spoken between this person and their friends. Um, and that was, and that there was a sense of true friendship, of true connection with one another on that level. Now I have very few who I would deem as a friend um, and that I try and that I maybe don't always uh, meet that expectation that I maybe let the weeds grow up a little bit and before I have to come and mow it down so thinking about this today and experiences experiencing this today has caused me to really put a focus on the um, ties that I have with my friends and that I want to maintain and, and, and keep those ties strong to maintain that frith to make sure that the, that, that frith web is woven tightly so that is my thought on today's stanza from the homo and i hope you all liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to jump down into the comment section and let me and everyone else who watches these videos know what you think of this particular stanza so thank you all again so much for watching thank you for listening and in uh, you know being here to kind of let me unload a little bit and try and process which i'm still trying to do um Again, it was, it, it's been a tough day and I'm still trying to process it. So your thoughts and support are appreciated. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Anything that you want to do to help support Midgard Musings is going to be down in the description in my link tree. Thank you all again so much for supporting Midgard Musings constantly. Hail, and I'll see you in the next one.